Hello, we're back, playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We are on episode 3, and now it's turn about, turn about goodbyes. We don't know anything about this, because I haven't started. So let's go get into it, from chapter start. Episode 4, turn about goodbyes. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You suffered? And now, the perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Is this another show? Oh no. Merry Christmas. Oh, snap. Whoa, who's that? No! It's Edgeworth! But he was such a good- he was a good guy- No, what's going on? I don't know what to say anymore! This is crazy already. December 25th- Wait, Christmas! 10 away AM, right in company law offices. Love this song. Hey, hey Nick! Do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. I I'm at a loss here. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course. Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged on anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any waterfalls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but then's the break. Can you just take a cold shower or something? <laughs> Good idea. So much for the rushing spring waters. Nix in the news. Oh, Nix in the news. A large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. In the tip of the hat of a Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Huh, <laughs> cute. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident that Gordy is the real deal. Ugh, boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water's pressure kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with a hose? Good idea, Nick. Apparently, ESP is no added detecting sarcasm aid. We interrupt this program to bring you special news bulletin. Strange occurrence continue Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended, stories inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecution attorney, known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarded career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yikes. Maya? The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. <laughs> Poor girl. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a, spes a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I don't... I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. What to do about your medium training now? Just kidding. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime of the scene. C crime scene, scene crime, whatever. You're right, we need more information. Save aimless and confusions for later. Any ideas? Well, not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath the waterfall. Yikes. Um. Alright, we'll go to the detention center and we'll go talk to Miles first, I guess. December 25th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Ah! <laughs> Don't look so angry, dude. We're here to help. <laughs> Even though the cussing kind of showed you did kill him, but I think there's more to it. I don't... I'm not convinced that he killed him, or some, something must be more than this. 
I don't believe it, okay? Hey, Edgeworth, come back. Did you try to run? What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? Were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you come to laugh at my fallen attorney. At the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? No, of course not. Jeez Louise. Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time we can spend coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> he's like, I know you do. <laughs> I hope you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Hey, I didn't want to see you either, believe me. Alright, we have no evidence, so we don't have to talk to him. Let's just ask what happened. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey, sure you got lucky and won all three. Well, your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick! He's insulting you, Nick! Why am I always the one who has to get angry? It's Tubble Gord Lake. See for myself, man. It's not luck. I got these magic attorney skills. The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. La late last night. The lake is a long way away from your office and the court. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth. You, you didn't really. Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? It's obvious a lie. You're too hard. You're too stone cold to go see Gordy. Okay, we can't really examine because Stone Face is still back there with the camera, and the only thing we have. Does this make you feel better? Do you want to see my attorney's badge? Hey, see, check it out. I am an attorney. I could help you out. Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Huh. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Oh, shit. I didn't expect his... The badge would do anything. What the heck? <laughs> me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Some of put, they're afraid they lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you to get involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Is it because you're concerned for me, Edgeworth? Is it? You care for me and you don't want to see me lose? Eh? Well, I'll see you later, man. I'll go. I'm gonna go check Gord Lake entrance. Maybe Gumshoe's here. December 25th. It's kind of scary looking park right now, but it's December. December 25th, Gord Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened. Yeah. Yeah, Gord Lake is the uh, middle of the park. Of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Aw, oh, my pal, Dick Gumshoe. Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot. The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, sir, excuse me, I just definitely burped. I thought I was going to be quiet, but it was not quiet. There are any clues. That's why we arrested the attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It it's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up. Just you, just... Just you try saying that again. Ow. Er. I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean, just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe is kind of scary today. Roots. Peh. <laughs> ah. Eek. Hey, you're the hairy guy. Hairy buns. Right. Phoenix, right. Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, um, yeah. Oh, yes. I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Well, oh, did I say that or did he say that? Oh, I'm confused. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. 
can't help. See, everyone wants us to defend him. Why don't he let us defend him? Just let us defend you so we can learn to defend ourselves. Well, that kind of doesn't make sense. What happened to Gumshoe before I start singing really poorly? Detective Gumshoe, do you know what, had, what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the fluffy pink cloth lawyer. Head in the, huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out aboard late. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. See, like, how he's holding the gun, he looks like he's holding it in disbelief, though. I don't think he killed him. Maybe he's trying to prevent the other guy from killing himself, other than he just, like, held a gun in the hand and could do anything. I don't know. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. Or maybe that guy was trying to kill Mr. Edgeworth, and Mr. Edgeworth used his, like, slick, um, cool medieval scarf and, like, apprehended him and, like, took the gun from him and accidentally killed him in accident. I don't know. A cop who, the cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did he get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. Witness. Let's talk about Edgeworth. We all like the guy, even though he's could be a bit on the mean side. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there is a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who cares what the witness is? I care. <laughs> you really believe in him, don't you, Detective? Of course I do. But police are pretty sure he's a killer. Nobody's even really talking, taking the investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all that help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. I want to take his side, trust me. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case. Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defend him and lost your reputation, be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they had a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I, I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want my, us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He can't sing right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. I don't get it either, man. Talk about the witness. Who is this person? Who is the witness? Uh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold all on the night, like, on the lake that night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. Oh man, I wish this. I wish I was playing this part during Christmas. They'll be. They'll hit the spot probably. That's why we're here today, checking these things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I've forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Detective. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to be holding an investigation briefing. Briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before I head back? How to get in touch with you? Well, no. I would like the autopsy report, and I would. I just want to. Uh, uh, let's get the autopsy report. That's actually evidence. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry, they haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself, actually. Say, if you get the time, drop by my precinct. The precinct, we can talk more in there, pal. You're not coming back, Detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Alright. Oh, Here, I'll show you how to get to my precinct. The precinct, come down and see me anytime. Detective Gumshoe gave you directions to the police station. Oh hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get investigating. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We have 15 seconds left. Jeez, that was a close one, but we did not rush it, which was great, and we got all the information. And we got, we're friends now with, like, everybody. The characters are becoming concrete. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>